All right, guys, so we're going to create an LOD for a platform mesh. And I believe I have one right here. It's already a low. But we're going to make it a little bit lower because we can stand to do so. So we're going to pop that up there. As you can see, we can remove some off the top here if we want it to. Which you can actually do. Faces. But instead what we're going to be doing is going into object mode. Select that and we're going to go to reduce. There we go. 50% reduced and it's even lower. Save this. Believe it or not. It's platform low LOD1. We just created LODs. So removed by another 10%. Sorry. Uh, 60. And we can export this as LOD2. If it would stop going over there, that would be great. So LOD2. Okay, and do another 10%. This thing is getting really, really low poly. I think stupidly low poly. It's pretty entertaining, to be honest. Save that as 3. And let's try for uh, 75%. Let me go a little bit higher. Try 80. So now you can see it's just becoming as simple as possible. This is going to be our final LOD. LOD 4. Now, I've already showed you how to put it together in game, but that's pretty much how it's done. That is an easy way to create LODs. You can also do that for trees, which I'm going to show you how to do now. So start new project I already saved it we're gonna import a tree so we're gonna go into desktop assets and we're gonna grab fur 2 so there's the tree exported from UE4 it still has everything that it needs right and we can separate all of this I believe So first we're going to reduce the low, the highest part right here. So reduce, but we're going to actually reduce it by 60. So there, it's got a little more reduction and we can keep going if we want. See, as long as it still keeps its shape somewhat, you're good to go. So we can actually go up to 80% if we needed to long as it's a circle and it still looks legit you're good now these guys all of these are super annoying and yes you can reduce some if you want you can add some whatever it takes it's really up to you what you do but by reducing that little amount that we did we brought it down to 2 2k and each one of these actually has a lot so we're going to try that swatch. And we need to grab. I didn't manage to get all of them, but I got enough of them. I could probably... do this. That actually is 5,000, so we can actually reduce this. Just a bit more. 
by a good 70%. There. The tree has been reduced a lot. And now we can export that as LOD1 if we need to. Parts of it are still going to look good. That's the awesome part. Because I did, I did miss a few of these. I just took out the ones that were not important. So when we import these in, they're still going to look awesome. Uh, we're going to open up Jungle Part 2 here while I'm still cooking. And I'm going to show you the result. Results are tasty. Like fried chicken. Mmm, fried chicken. Uh, ic ignore that. I'm partially insane, if you haven't noticed. Go away. This might take a minute or two to open. Alright, let's try this. I always wondered what the uh, UV looked like. Layout. Okay. It's not that bad. Look at that. And I need to leave all of those, but I can get rid of a few more, actually. I can get rid of that one and that one. This one, this one, this one. Uh, let's not get rid of that one or that one. It's got a vertex. Pull this out while we're waiting for that to open. And there we go. Now we're going to minimize this and we're going to wait for this to open. See, what I've been doing is I've been working on the LAM autoscape material. I've been trying to reduce it to make it lighter. I've added tons of LODs to each of the trees, the rocks, you name it. I've reduced everything. So now we need to go find Pine 2. So LOD1 is right there. So I'm going to reimport LOD1 because the LOD that we just made is so much cooler. There we go. But of course, there's always some mistakes. We have to go up and No, no. I need to go back to object mode. Combine. Thank you. Export all. Right there. Can't believe I made that mistake. Hopefully that fixes the problem. No, it does not. That's lame. Okay. We're going to go reduce it again. Don't save. Don't save. So oh my god. That's pissing me off. Import. Where 
Where's the uh, reduce tool? Reduce. That's not good. Oh well. We'll do this instead. Since we already have LOD2 as one of the ultra lows. We're going to put in LOD2. We can also, if we want it, change this to be LOD7. Just hit save. That way we uh, are stuck with almost perfect trees that give almost no effect at all. Right, unzagging. Sapphire Tricks needs to be on for this. It's technically hard to tell the difference. I'm probably going to fall through the world, I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. Fell through the world. Um... Where's the map? There it is. Landscape. See, it's the other trees that also have the problems as well. The person who made this did not do the best job that he could. Look at the tries in this thing. It's not really something you can consider to be low poly. Now, I did add others, so we're actually going to go... And just do this. that way we have almost 60 FPS you can tell the rocks are extremely reduced as well Now, I will get into more optimization as I go along, but I'm not stopping until I can literally put this at 70 FPS at constant at all times. Because 16 is the goal, but to be honest, 15 is even better. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Another thing done on Dell ODs, and uh, a few mistakes were done, but I will see you in the next video. Bye.